Good afternoon, everyone. This is a general service announcement from Ross coming to you live from Port Melbourne. Uh, I am talking to you because you're either a valued member, client of Rossfit, um, of Ruby and myself, uh, or you've been a client in the past, or we've had some dealings with you and working with you um, in some way. Whoa, not so close, Ruby. All What's right, with the uh, social distancing here, please? See ya. Okay, no, I'm joking, I'm joking, come on back. Um, but seriously, I was freaking out a bit there. Wow, what an amazing, yeah, come on, come and join me, Ruby. Um, what an amazingly crazy time we're living in at the moment. Uh, yeah, wow. I think, I think it's as crazy as it is what's happened in the last sort of 48 hours with um, this increase in the shutdown. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got to be a positive thing, yeah. Um, one thing I, I said to my parents earlier today was even though our logical mind knows this is the right thing to do, um, and I don't know about you, but I'm really happy that our government's making a decision to, to really get serious about this. Emotionally, when I got the news last night that we were going into a further shutdown, my initial response was a little bit of fear. It was a little bit of, oh wow, this is intense. And I think um, because it is such a foreign space, a foreign reality that we're in right now, it's unprecedented. No one alive on this planet right now has experienced anything like this. It can be very easy to get into this emotional state of it's all overwhelming. But if you look at the facts, Nothing's changed in the last 48 hours regarding coronavirus and, and how dangerous it is. Uh, all that's changed is our response to it. And if you look at it from a practical perspective, it's a positive response. This is a really good thing uh, that's happening in terms of our response to corona. Uh, and, and I really believe that we have the choice on how we respond to this. We can choose to sit in a place of catastrophe, of really getting caught up in the, in, the, in the drama of all of this, or we can try and find the opportunity, the positive out of this. And now I'm not trying to say that Corona is a good thing, but there are some positive stories that are coming out of this scenario, this situation. Uh, one thing I read about this morning was that there's estimates that the amount of lives saved in China from the reduction in pollution in the last month or so is 20 times that of the amount of lives lost in China from coronavirus. So you're saying it's a good thing, corona? <laughs> I'm not saying it's a good thing. Uh, it wasn't me that, uh, that ate the bat or however, however this thing started. But, um, but I'm saying that there's, yeah, like there's definitely, we can see the positive. If we can see the positive, we're gonna get through this with a bit more of a smile on our face, hopefully with a bit of humor and we're gonna come out of it stronger than when we went into, into it. And I believe that's, I mean, it's ultimately up, it's up to you, it's up to each of us as to how we choose. But personally, and I know Ruby's the same, we're gonna to choose to go into this from a place of um, love, of support of the people around us in our community, uh, and, and trying to find that silver lining, lining, that positive out of this. Yeah, um, you know, I keep like saying to my friends, like, I, oh, I know some people who have no no income, no job, even like two mates who have nowhere to live. So, um, yeah, definitely have to see that silver lining, and we still have each other. Yeah, totally. Yeah, exactly. And there's all you know that whole being grateful. If you're sitting in a place of gratitude, you there's you know it's, you can't have fear, or you can't have um, you can't feel lack or um, sadness or you know I wish this or wish that well I'm really grateful that we're going through this and we're in a country where we do have such amazing support services you know there's a lot of countries that aren't any, in anywhere near as good a position that we're in uh, obviously with the social isolation guidelines we're probably all going to be craving human connection more so now than ever before in our lives. I think it's so important that we support each other in any way we can, uh, which is partly why we're doing this video and why you know we're about to talk about a few things further on in this video about how we're going to try and build community, maintain community, support each other. And Ruby and I want you to know that we're here to support you in any way we can. So reach out. 
uh, if it's by phone, by email, um, through our, our socials, if there's any way we can support you. Uh, and it could just be a phone call to have a chat about what you can do to take charge of your own health, to support your immune system. Whatever it is, we're here to support. Uh, and on that point of immune system, uh, we've, we've sent out some emails recently on you know, how you can boost your immune system, so I won't go into it in, in great detail here, and we'll keep putting out information in, in the coming days, weeks and months on how you continually can improve your health. But just to, as maybe a reminder, especially for the clients of ours who, who hear about us talking about this stuff a lot, at times like this, more so than even in normal life, um, looking at really bolstering the pillars of health for yourself and for your loved ones, people that you're living with, so that you've got the strongest immune system possible. So if we look at those pillars of health, the four pillars um, being diet, get lots of fresh vegetables in your diet. Uh, supermarket shelves being empty in the pasta and the flour aisle makes me think that everyone's eating pasta and flour at the moment, so I'm hoping if you're watching this, you're not one of those people and that you're taking advantage of the fact that we live in a country that grows most of our fresh produce or pretty much all of our fresh produce. So we've got an abundance of it. Eat that and really try and make that the predominant part of your diet because that goes such a long way to your immediate health and your long term health. Uh, so diet number two being your rest and repair. So primarily sleep. Our immune systems are compromised when we don't get enough sleep. So making sure you're getting that eight to nine hours sleep a night. Uh, and you know, potentially that's gonna be easier now that we're working, a lot of us are working from home. You know, there's less commute times. Uh, potentially you might be able to get a little bit more sleep than normal. You could come out of this more rested than you've ever been before. Uh, so after quiet or your rest and repair, movement. Uh, we really don't want to see anyone in our community or anyone using this as a time to get really lazy with their movement and their exercise. Once again, your immune health and your overall health requires the body to move. We're designed to move every day and not just every day, but frequently throughout the day. I'm going to need to do 10 burpees after just sitting here for, uh, for 10 minutes to make this video. Uh, not really. I hate, I hate burpees. We didn't do burpees. Yeah. It's just, that's what people talk about when they say doing exercise. Anyway, um, so movement. So appropriate intensity is one thing I just wanted to mention. Now is not the time, I believe, for us to be flogging ourselves and working as hard in our workouts as possible. Rather, but then on the flip side, now is not the time to be um, sloths sitting on the couch doing nothing. Um, movement is so important to keep our biological oscillators in our body synchronized and, and, and working, which is so important for digestion, immune health, and so on and so forth. But we, but we don't want to be pushing, we don't want to be redlining in our workouts because that can actually weaken our immune system for a period of time and expose us to, to getting sick. So let's just train appropriately. In all of the classes and one-on-one -on -one training that Ruby and I will be coaching, we will be taking that in mind. But if you're training yourselves, just keep that in mind. What are biological oscillators? Biological, so we've got three biological oscillators, main biological oscillators. It's our brain, our diaphragm, and our heart. And that, um, that process of these, bi basically a biological oscillator is a, um, is a, a moving mechanism in our body that um, that when synchronized with the other oscillators leads to um, a less sympathetic nervous system dominant body so a body that's more likely to go into the rest repair state and what they've found is that people that do um, regular exercise people that do mindfulness practices have biological oscillators that are in rhythm and when we're in rhythm our cortisol levels are lower, stress in the body is lower. So not just a fancy word? You no, like it's not. I do like to use words that no one knows. Yeah, it's, it's really, <laughs> it makes me feel more superior. Uh, and then the last one is mindset. Uh, we already, I've already spoke about it earlier, about just trying to find the positive in this. 
but we need daily practices, I believe, to help us maintain that positive positivity. A gratitude journal, or even just maybe if you if you're living, you know, if you're not like me and you're living living as a loner by myself, uh, if you live with other people, maybe yeah. make it a practice that at dinner every evening or over breakfast in the morning, you all mention one thing that you're grateful for. Uh, it might sound a bit kooky for some of us, but to be honest, something like that at a time like this can be a really good way to stop us from getting caught up in that catastrophe. Oh my gosh, it's all so full on mm -hmm. and thinking, wow, I'm so grateful that we live in an era of Skype and Zoom and FaceTime so that even though, even though I can't see my parents face to face at the moment because they're in the high risk category, I can still see them on my phone every day. Um, like that's amazing. If we lived a hundred years ago and this happened, mm. it'd be a very different situation. So find the positive, use practices like meditation, breathing practices, um, which we'll go into more um, in other videos and other um, information that we'll put out for you and our networks. Uh, we, so we just wanted to touch on what we're doing now to support you. So what, uh, how we've had to modify the services that we offer uh, to to deal with the current situation. So we're obviously not we're obviously not working in out of a gym anymore. Um, uh, we've uh, Ruby and I have already both started working um, with our members and clients outside in parks uh, and also online over Zoom um, video calls. Uh, our outdoor group fitness classes are still running. And uh, according to the latest information from our Prime Minister and the Victorian, Victorian Premier, as well as the CEO of Fitness Australia, they all encourage, well specifically Fitness Australia, encourages that we maintain outdoor fitness services. As long as we adhere to the um, social distancing guidelines, uh, and as long as we adhere to that, they encourage that we continue with it. Being outside in the sun with fresh air uh, can be, is obviously there's, got, there's so many health benefits that come from that. So the group fitness classes remain. Uh, the, some of the uh, systems we're putting into place, we have already put into place to make these classes safe are maximum 10 people per class. So we'll, we use our online booking system. If you uh, want to attend a class, you book in, only 10 allowed per class. Lots of space. So the way we're setting up the classes is that we're never going to be really close to anyone else. Definitely not as close as Ruby and I are right now. Um, the, we're sterilizing all equipment um, for every session. Uh, so we're across all of that to make it as safe as possible um, so that we're not doing anything that's going to encourage the spread of the virus. Uh, Zoom Fitness by Ross Fit uh, will we be... We need to copyright that. We do need to. That Ruby came up with that name. Zoom, Zoom Fitness by Ross Fit. I reckon that is so awesome. Anyway, Zoom Fitness by Ross Fit will be launching this week. And this is going to be amazing. So online group live group fitness classes no more than 10 people per class so that Ruby and myself can manage the classes effectively. Uh, lots of space away from everyone else because you will be in the comfort of your own home or your backyard if you have one. Uh, there's going to be body weight and strength options. All you need to attend a class is a computer or a phone with a camera and a mic. Uh, a free Zoom account, doesn't cost you anything to get the Zoom account. And for the body weight option, you don't need to have any equipment. All you need is a four meter by two meter space, uh, either a mat or carpet, so something soft that you can lie down on and do kneeling exercises on, uh, and your body. That's all you need. Uh, for our strength option- Don't op forget your body. Don't f <laughs> uh, Yeah, it's true. So for the strength option, it's everything that I just said for the body weight, plus uh, you're gonna need a resistance band or a set of resistance bands and an anchor point. And with that, you'll be able to do a complete whole body workout all the way up to doing really intense strength exercises. Uh, if you don't own resistance bands, we can source all of that for you. So, um, so that's the way our Zoom fitness classes will be running. One-on-one um, -on -one health and movement coaching services are gonna continue. Uh, that will be in the form of face-to-face -face outdoors um, in and around Port Melbourne. 
as well as Zoom coaching. So one-on-one -on -one Zoom coaching. And uh, you know, if there's two people in your home and you both wanna coach with us at once, we, we can accommodate to all of those things. As well as programming only um, options. If you're just after a, a program and a regular sort of assessment, assessment and check-in, uh, but you wanna run things yourself, then we can accommodate with that as well. Uh, in terms of how we're gonna to continue to communicate with everyone and support you, uh, we'll keep going with emails and text messages and phone calls and all that sort of old school stuff. Uh, but then for those of you that are on Facebook, if you're a current member or client of, of us, of Rossfit in any way, and if you haven't already, please apply to join our closed Facebook group, Rossfit Optimizing Performance. So that's Rossfit Optimizing Performance. Uh, is it a dash after Rossfit? Do you know? Uh, we'll try either way. Don't even know. If, you, if you have trouble finding it, um, reach out and we'll send you an invite or something through Facebook. Uh, but that's a closed group just for our paying clients, current clients, and that's a platform where we're going to be, or well, we are already putting up a lot of um, videos and content and support on uh, the pillars of health, exercise, programs that you can do at home, and a myriad of other things. So it's just Ross in his backyard with no top on. Pretty, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, Ruby knows that. Attention. Ruby's had to film those videos, for, sadly, <laughs> unfortunately for Ruby. Uh, but fortunately for everyone else, no. <laughs> uh, and watch this space on what we're gonna be doing on Rossfit Optimizing Performance Closed Facebook Group. Uh, I believe what we're gonna be launching in the next couple of weeks will be revolutionary in online holistic health coaching. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Uh, so if you're a member, jump on board that. And if you're not a member and you're interested, um, you know, reach out and we can tell you more about what we're gonna be offering with that. For everyone else, so if you're watching this and you used to be a member of or client of ours, or if you uh, are just some, in some way part of our community, but you're not a current member, uh, get onto Facebook and join our free Facebook group, Optimizing Human Performance. So the first one was Rossfit Optimizing Performance, and this one is Optimizing Human Performance. And this is a free group, so get your friends and family to join. It's always gonna be free. And this is a space where we're putting up a lot of free content, uh, once again, around the pillars of health and uh, exercise tips, and just some positive information out there because there's so much of the catastrophe stuff going around. I'm a big believer in us being forewarned and forearmed with, uh, with the news of what's going on, but I almost, I'm also a big believer that if we get really caught up in that and you can spend six hours a day watching the news and just getting a circle of, of really scary information coming in, all that's gonna do is spike your adrenals and weaken your immune system, which is just gonna uh, you know, worsen the situation for you. Uh, so yeah, jump on those two options, um, Rossfit Optimizing Performance for our members and clients and Optimizing Human Performance, uh, the Facebook group, the free one for everyone else. And, uh, and you'll get more updates through there as we go. Is there anything I've forgotten? Uh, oh, just um, it's come up before, what are we specifically using? to sterilize equipment because you can't just use yeah. like a vinegar or yeah, your, your yeah. classic cleaning product. That's a really good point. Uh, and yeah, I didn't really go into that. Okay, so what the World Health Organization is saying is that to sterilize and uh, to sterilize your hands, to clean your hands um, to, uh, and to clean equipment or surfaces where coronavirus can sit dormant for, I think, some people are saying 24 hours, other locations are saying up to nine days. Uh, you need to use a, a solution that is a minimum 70% alcohol. Uh, so we are, we are following those guidelines and that's what we use to clean all of our equipment and we have hand sanitizer that follows those same guidelines. So we're doing that uh, before and after every one-on-one uh, -on -one class and group class outside and we're making sure we've got enough time between classes and sessions to clean equipment. So yeah, we're, we're, I think we're, we're doing everything we know we possibly can to um, prevent the spread. Mm. Um, I think that's mostly everything. Awesome. We are really grateful to have amazing clients and 
awesome people in our community that have, you know, so many of you big thanks who have reached out to us in the last couple of weeks um, to check out where we're going and how, you know, how our business is going to, is going to go. Having a small business and, and running that um, comes with its stresses at a time like this, as those of you who have got your own business will, will know yourselves. Um, so I, I feel for you and, you know, I think we've all got to support each other as much as we can uh, in a time like this. So, uh, so it's really amazing. I know you feel the same to have uh, amazing clients and, and cool people around us. So thanks. How's that clutch record? <laughs> I'm not doing that again. <laughs> See, see you online, see you in a park, and... Uh, We're going to go wash our hands, because I think, what, it's been 20 minutes? It's been 20 minutes, yeah, good point. I've, I've probably touched right. my face as well. I touched yeah. my face at least five times. That's disgusting. If you, touch, a... your, if you touch your face at boot camp more than three times, you're out. You're out. Yeah. Or burpees? Yeah. Burpees? Oh, no, we don't do we burpees. Don't do burpees. <laughs> we don't do burpees. <laughs> I turn it off now, I'm done. I'm, I, I do not do not like being in front of a video.